senior day for the Temple Owls tonight, and Tanya Cardoza, she will start all three seniors in this basketball game. A little bit of a different mix for Temple, just like Memphis did on their senior day. Tanya Cardoza, the reigning American Athletic Conference Coach of the Year, won that award along with Gino Oriema a season ago, looking for 200 victories. Her starting lineup we mentioned with the seniors today, Tanea Atkinson, who's usually in the lineup, but Khadija Berger and Mikea Jones, the graduate transfer from Georgetown, also in the mix. We talked about Bria Elmore and Cheyenne Creighton leading a team of only six for Memphis. Jasmine James will come off the bench for Melissa McFerrin. It's been a trying season, Julianne, for Melissa McFerrin, but you kind of get better for it, having to figure things out on the fly. The last couple of seasons, Melissa McFerrin has had to battle a lot. I mean, injuries has been the big thing for both teams this year and last. And they have played with six players before, Joel. It's been just a few days ago, they played with five. So, <laughs> nobody they, fouled. have seen it all. Dumped down from Elmore. First layup of the day from Creighton. So immediately, the two we watch off the top are the first two to touch the basketball. One and done for Memphis. Temple, because of that lack of depth for Memphis, will try to run as well. You can see it get down the court quickly. Three on the way for Berger. That's her specialty. Leads off senior night the right way. And that's going to be a real key tonight for Temple. They've got to be able to hit threes because Memphis is going to play a lot of zone. They've practiced zone all season because they don't go deep enough to play too much man to man. Some teams play zone to hide players with fouls. Other teams play zone because they can't run enough. That's where rebounding will also come into play. Offensive rebound. Davis got it again. Third effort for Memphis. Now, as much as Memphis doesn't have depth, they do have the most depth in the post. They're bigger inside. So they're going to look to bang it in. They'll play three posts today. Three does not go down for Jada Stinson. Atkinson will set things up here on the wing. Here she is on the block kick out. Atkinson. Three in the quarter. Another. Khadija Berger. Back to back triples to open things up. Now it's certainly senior night and Berger coming to play. And that's one thing you like to see from your senior. Having that energy. It's the last time you're going to play on your home floor, most likely. Turn around for Creighton. And that'll get Memphis on the board. Creighton comes in averaging 14 a game, second on the team in scoring. Bria Elmore and Cheyenne Creighton do the bulk of the offensive duties for Memphis. Davis with the step out. Range for the freshman big out to about 16, 17 feet. She'll shoot threes on occasion as well. Elmore stolen away. Atkinson. Two on one, take it to the bucket. And today Atkinson has Temple out to an 8-2 early lead. That's where Atkinson can be dangerous. She gets in passing lanes and she poaches and just a tremendous job reading the eyes and creating an easy opportunity. That's where she's versatile too. A post player, six feet tall, tough as nails, but can get out and run and transition off a steal. She's been undersized all year long. She really is a guard who's had to play a lot of four as we see another one go down from Stinson for Memphis. Seven points a game for Stinson. She shoots threes left-handed, by the way. Keep an eye on that because she does everything else with her right. And she's eighth all time for most threes made by a freshman, so she can certainly space it out. Barnes the steal, put her at the line. A couple of free throws coming. Julianne, what are we looking for off the top? Well, when you look at Temple, they've got to contain Atkinson. That's always the number one thing when you play against Temple because they're a team that is difficult to stop when she gets going, and they have to take advantage of size. They're bigger inside. And for Temple, limit the turnovers tonight and catch from three. You're going to have to make shots from out there against a Memphis team that is going to play zone the entire time because of their limited numbers. Melissa McFerrin was really funny last night when we were talking to her. And she said, we have to go inside because that's where we have depth. And, and then she paused <laughs> and said, I can't believe I just used that word. And it's true. They've certainly struggled. And 
basically just trying to get through this season. They're not going to be able to press too much. Three for Jones, and it's a 7-2 Memphis run. Elmore, full head of steam, and Atkinson able to get the rebound and go. Again, there's the versatility, sets up Jones, but does not take the three. Temple takes a ton of them, too, by the way. Top 60 teams in the country at taking the three-point attempts. There are games where they make a lot and games where they have really struggled. And it really has been a little bit of an inconsistent thing for them throughout the season, which you expect from a younger team. That's top three by Mayo. Talk about youth, the freshman, up to Atkinson. Tanea Atkinson with that layup, by the way, just tied second place all time in Temple School history for career points. Deadlocked her with Fiona Fitzgerald, graduated a season ago and plays professionally in Poland now. Three in the corner. Rebound again, Davis, and the foul is on Jones. And long shots mean long rebounds, so you're going to have to be ready on that weak side to box someone out. And you're, you're going to have to find bodies in your temple because Memphis certainly has the bigger size. And Davis has improved steadily over the course of this season, especially the last 10 years or so. She's really proven to keep up with the pace of the game, and you see that with freshmen. It takes some time to get used to this college pace. Well, and you just look at her, too. She's got a professional basketball body. She's built, she's strong, learning how to use it and establish herself down there. Three early rebounds. Another corner three, this time Mayo. It's the left corner for Temple. Into the paint. Lay it around and out for Creighton. And Atkinson dominating the glass for Temple. Nice. Great no look. The five for Davis. And credit me and Davis as a freshman, running the floor and letting Atkinson know where she was. And forget it, if you let Temple get out and run, they're going to really beat you down and tire you out, especially with a team that can't sub much. One sub at Memphis's disposal. And she's a post. Off the shot fake. Creighton lost it, up ahead, run the floor, Jones left it short. A lot of turnovers here early, sloppy play for Memphis. They just got to slow it down and let the game come to them and make the simple pass. I'm not sure if it's because they're tired or what, but the game just started. The good news is that you, you know if you make a mistake, coach isn't going to take you out. Davis got it back and we will go to the line again. Temple on the early run out. And today, Atkinson getting it done. You got to love Atkinson's style of play. When she gets out in the open floor, she is deadly and finishing strong. And then how about on the defensive end? Poaching, getting in passing lanes, and she is rolling.